We like to lift weights and get swole, but we also want to be better at understanding organic chemistry. So we're going to do both at once. We want to train effectively. We have to take into consideration of how our muscles produce energy. Our muscles use ATP to power muscle contraction. For the first 10-15 seconds of activity, we use stored phosphate groups attached to creatine, or phosphocreatine, to resupply from ATP from ADP. By adding a phosphate group with the help of creatine kinase. This is the fastest supply of energy, and as a result, provides the most power. These are your one rep max deadlifts, your 100 meter sprints, anything providing the most power, and anything that you see half Thor Bjornsson from Game of Thrones doing. ATP gives us the levels to get swole. Creatine kinase is one enzyme that helps us regulate cellular energy homeostasis and available ATP levels. Creatine kinase is an enzyme that allows for the transfer of one phosphate group from creatine phosphate over to adenosine diphosphate with two phosphate groups. This creates adenosine triphosphate or ATP, that little molecule that we love that gives us energy to get swole. This is a reversible process whereby creatine kinase takes that phosphate group back over to the creatine, forming creatine phosphate, giving us the energy again when we rest to get swole when we start repping those sets again. After 15 seconds, our creatine supply of phosphate is all used up and we have to do things the old-fashioned way, glycolysis. Glycolysis. We break the sugar, we get ATP in water. These are your more athletic activities, such as sled pushes and lunging. This is what we call anaerobic activity. Beyond 10 minutes, and you're needing oxygen to perform aerobic glycolysis, which while most efficient in terms of energy production, will do the least for you in terms of gains. Though don't disregard cardio, as a healthy heart is essential for literally everything we do. When we train to get swole, we lift using sets. One to five groupings with a rest in between. This maximizes the body's ability to use creatine phosphate as a main energy source and to resupply that creatine phosphate during the 90 second to three minute rest intervals. <clears throat> this allows us to use our muscles when we have a desired, ready power source available. And thus, maximize our gains. Whether you want more muscle mass, higher endurance, or just to become stronger. Some people supplement their diet with creatine to increase the amount of creatine phosphate available. Also, increases the amount of creatine available for lifting endurance. This is very effective while they continue supplementation. However, when they stop, they will no longer have this added benefit as their body will have adapted to the readily available supply of creatine from dietary supplementation. 
to build muscle, called hypertrophy, we need to put a strain on the muscle using repeated training. This sends a message to the body, we need to get stronger. When we train using very heavy weights with low reps, we tell the body we need to get strong. When we want to build muscle mass, we use moderate weight and moderate number of reps. When we want to build endurance, we use low weight and high number of reps. Each of these strategies tells the body of a specific need which will be met in kind. Creatine is just the body's answer to the need for a quick power resupply source.